Hello guys, my name is Ollie43, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be telling you the specs of the Xbox One. So if you don't already know, the Xbox One is the new generation console from Microsoft, and it is looking absolutely beastly, despite what those uh, PS4 fanboys are saying, but hey ho. <laughs> the comments section, that's all I'm going to say, just, you know, if you need to vent, go and vent. I'm, I'm not here to argue with you, that's your decision. Uh, but yeah, so I want to tell you about the specs for the Xbox One. It's really important how it compares to the PS4 in terms of performance and graphics and speed and power. So um, yeah, sit tight and enjoy. Alright, so similarly to the PS4, we're going to see that the Xbox One has 8 gigs of RAM. Now, I'm not a RAM expert, I'm not a computer specs expert, it would be lying for me to tell you that. Um, but it's got the same speed, I don't know whether it's the same format, like GDDDR53, I don't know, I'm not an expert. But nevertheless, it is the same amount. It's <laughs> 8 gigs of RAM, which is really cool. It's got USB 3.0, it's got built-in Wi-Fi, and this is the most interesting thing about the whole shebang. It's got a Blu-ray drive, which is kind of confirming that Blu-ray has won this kind of, I mean, it won before, but it's going to be even more prevalent for the next five years or so that Blu-ray is now the new technology. Although I've heard about Red Ray. Have you guys heard about that? That's pretty interesting. But anyway, Blu-ray is somewhat um, owned by Sony, which is quite funny, which, you know, they're obviously going to make some money off the Xbox using Blu-ray. But it also means that new games with lots and lots of data I get to use that Blu-ray, so we won't be seeing eight discs for Xbox games, which will be nice, that is a good thing. It's gonna be using the 64-bit architecture, like the PS4, and it's also gonna be HDMI in and out. Now that's the specs, they didn't go in too much detail, they said something about, there's like so many resistors, that doesn't mean a damn thing to anyone on any planet. Like, seriously, resistors? What? I Unless you are super technical and you know exactly what you're talking about, the amount of resistors means jack shit to me in terms of my gaming performance stuff. Like, RAM is just about it for me. So, I don't know why they decided to talk about resistors. That's beyond, that's stupid in my opinion. It's also, this is the thing, it's going to have like over 300,000, over 9,000 servers for the Xbox Live service. So, that's going to be so you can play your games instantly, so you can do things. Um, they didn't really talk about that too much, in too much detail, but they did say they're going to have over 300,000 servers for the Xbox Live service, which is absolutely astounding. But um, let me know what you think about these specs, and I'll see you soon for another video. Sit tight.